Hey battle babes, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and y'all, it is July 11th, 10.37 in the morning, and we are in a car. We're in a car because we got some things that we gotta do today. I actually should have been gone about seven minutes ago at this point, but to be completely honest, I checked the GPS, and instead of it taking two hours, it's supposed to take me about an hour and 30 minutes. So hold on, let me just double check and make sure that's still the case. Yeah, so about a hour 37 minutes so y'all i have way more than enough time i am heading out to my school campus because i have lab y'all i have open lab it's like a practice lab so obviously i'm not in scrubs or anything like that and hopefully that's even okay because i feel like i read somewhere it said that they wanted us to be in scrubs every time hold on y'all my mirror is looking kind of crazy they want us to be in scrubs every time we're on campus but it's not an official school day and to be completely honest we have white shirts our shirts are white for our school uniform and i'm not trying to mess those things up before i need to so i'm not trying to wear those so hopefully that's fine and if it's not they can just send me home just mark that i showed up in time but then just send me home because it's not even that deep another reason why i'm going down there is because y'all um i like trying to cluster everything that I need to do when I have to go out to the school because again that's about an hour and a half two hour drive for me so today I'm hoping well one I'll be able to pick up my books today finally so I can start looking through that stuff and see like <sighs> gauge the temperature how how crazy this is about to be because I know it's about to be crazy but I feel like I'm underestimating the amount of crazy so I'm anticipating being very stressed <laughs> let me slow down this deer almost got smacked by this car y'all i don't know what's with the deer that's on post but they'd be so brave it makes no sense anyway um i know it's about to be kind of crazy but um i'm I, I feel like i'm underestimating the amount of crazy so i'm planning on or anticipating being very stressed out throughout this program i hope that's not the case because again i've been through nursing school i've been through rt school hopefully i got this but we'll see so i'm gonna be able to pick up my books today do i have time to get a drink I have time y'all we about to go to starbucks i'm going to be picking up my books today i'm going to head over and make sure my tuition is taken care of so i have to go to financial aid office as well to make sure that is taken care of and then i'm hoping when i go to the bookstore i'm going i'm hoping when i go to the bookstore they actually have the um like macbooks or computers or something that i can get at the bookstore because i did speak to my brnd rep and what she told me is i have a budget like for school supplies i have a budget of about a hundred dollars to get like all my school supplies and stuff like that like markers pens pencils stuff like that cool that's perfectly fine the thing is why like that's kind of to me i feel like that's a small budget is that like Am I crazy? Is that a small budget? Because I feel like when I did go, go went to school, went shopping for like school supplies and stuff like that, I spent more than that, you know? So yeah, that was kind of crazy. But what she did say is, because I asked her about like, what about all my other stuff? Stethoscope, because y'all, I don't necessarily want to be using my very expensive stethoscope that I use for work for school. Like, I, I just don't want to do that because I don't know if we have to be putting our stuff up, if we can carry it around. And I'll be damned if somebody steal my stethoscope because I am going to be so mad. Um, so I don't want to be using my expensive stethoscope. And then I do have a stethoscope that hangs here. But again, that was my first stethoscope and it's all twisted up and stuff now. I'm pretty sure it still works perfectly fine. It does work, still works perfectly fine, but it's all coiled up and stuff. So I just, I'd rather just spend about 60 to 80 bucks on a new Lipman, one of the lower model stethoscopes and just be done with that. A blood pressure cuff is another thing that I'm wanting to get. And just a few other things that was optional on our school supply list, but I do want to get them. So hopefully they have those things at the schoolhouse, um, at the bookstore, so I can get that. Because what she told me was, if the school supplies that I need is at the bookstore, then they can just go ahead and charge it that way. But if, it, if I have to go outside of the school to purchase anything, then I have to basically show proof that this is something that I need. So yeah, yeah, that's the reason why I also need another 
checklist or list that had our uniforms and the stuff we needed on our uniforms because even though the school tells us that we have to go to a specific place to get our scrubs is outside of the school. So in order to be reimbursed, all those 400-ish dollars that I, 400 plus dollars that I spent on the uniforms and my um, shoes, I need that list. So hopefully I can get it while I'm here in person because I emailed a few of the people that we've been in contact with and nobody's emailed me back, which is so irritating because they really don't. The communication with the school so far, trash absolute trash so yeah that's what we doing today oh dang y'all supposed to drop something off at amazon something return something from amazon i was supposed to drop it off at ups and i forgot to put it in a car that's just great anywho yeah that's what we're doing today i'm about to grab me some starbucks i want to watch a latte so we can head off just get a venti matcha latte on ice with light ice okay and can i have that made with oat milk two pumps of vanilla and sweet cold foam on top and that'll be all thank you where my wife thank you so much you too look at that day look at that day hmm actually let me taste it mm-hmm that's good um I need something to watch on my way here because all my true crime, I feel like I watched them all and nobody uploaded nothing, no. All right, y'all, so I just pulled up to the campus bookstore and that, that drive. I felt like I, I don't, I do not understand what's going on, but I used to drive an hour in a half three days in a row okay three days in a row when i worked with the agency that i'm currently working with now and it just didn't seem that taxing but lately this drive was <laughs> and i gotta do this for a year because my clinical location is out this way so that was kind of oh my gosh i don't understand i don't understand why i don't understand why i went and did this to myself but We'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm about to go ahead and go in here and see what they got. Um, if they have the things that I need, try to collect my books and stuff like that. But yeah, we gonna see, um, I don't know, that drive, that drive just took a lot out of me. And I need to hurry up because I have about 40 minutes before I have to be in the location I'm supposed to be in for this lab and I still have no idea where that is so I have to um I have no clue I just do not know so I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit I'm about to go in here and try to rush I have to pee so bad I finished my matcha so let's just let's just get it over with you can put a hundred grand on it Anything I said, I stamp on it In a private plane, I lamp on it Let the old and call me bank on it Cause I walk around with the bank on it Show them Gangnam Style, put the gang on him Twist my fingers up on a bang on him Let the old, let the old, yeah Tobalo, Comacho, yeah and if a boy feel macho, make him look red like a tomato. If you need to go photos, yeah, so that way you can look through all the email announcements, the other stuff that they have never had been sent out. Okay, so she put that in the photo. is a yellow one. Oh, all right y'all so i just finished up with the skills lab and i feel like it was definitely pretty helpful it was helpful to me anyway we got in there and they had like 
mannequins little body parts and stuff like that for us to practice our different skills like um fully catheters on male and female injections donning and doffing ppe keeping a sterile field setting up a sterile field stuff like that so i thought that was pretty nice a bunch of us had a lot of questions so the instructor she was able to answer a lot of our questions i felt like she was very generous with her time today so i really did like that as far as getting my books and stuff i need to really reach out to my va rep because um yeah this is getting is getting way more stressful than it have to be because again there's other equipment and stuff that i need but they're saying i don't okay the book package that i have is fifteen hundred dollars we're only allotted $1,500, I guess, for equipment and books and stuff like that that we need. So my thing is, if you already have to reimburse me for my uniforms and I'm telling you that my books are, you know, $1,500 and it takes up that entire budget, what do I do? And I did ask for a meeting, never got the meeting, so I'm going to have to email her about that again. So as of right now, that's the only thing that I'm stressing about because I did go to financial aid as well. And at least my classes are paid for, like my tuition is paid. So that part's fine. What I think I'm about to do, though, I'm about to head back, obviously. It's about to be, actually, let me put that in the GPS. Okay, so yeah, about another hour and 40 minute drive home so yeah oh that's another thing y'all first of all i have to go back to um i have to go back to target buy another planner because the schedule like the calendar and stuff that remember in the past vlog i had put all of the dates and stuff for classes the dates were going to be on campus stuff like that into my calendar well the calendar is changing it's changing and apparently there's going to be less exams there's going to be less dates that we have to come up to um, campus which for me i am perfectly okay with downside is obviously we're going to have to get a higher score on each exam to make sure we're within the gpa that we have to keep but i was definitely liking this program because it was hybrid but with as much as we had to be on campus once a week sometimes multiple times a week multiple times a week i'm like how in the world is this how is this hybrid but like she said the schedule is going to change some of the policies and stuff are going to change um so yeah we just gotta wait the only downside is y'all i can't get my nails done while i'm in a program so we 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 gonna see we 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 gonna we have to figure that out it's not a big deal to be completely honest but i need my hands to look like something especially up against that ring because y'all know i love that thing i love that thing but yeah let's go ahead and start going somewhere i don't have to stop at the gas station thank goodness but i do want to grab something to eat a drink actually before i do anything let me pull back over for a second i'm about to send an email real quick um before i forget so hold on all right so i just sent that email now we can finally hop on the road and go home because y'all i need a nap i need a nap let me put this away for a second i need I need a nap. I really didn't have breakfast this morning. I just, mm -mm. I didn't want my stomach to be acting all crazy, growling all out while I was in class. So I didn't really eat anything. Cause at this point, ain't no telling how my stomach gonna react to anything. Am I going this way? But yeah, y'all, I just had to send an email cause I won't lie, I'm stressed out about this whole financial situation when it comes to paying for this stuff and then I feel like I've been asking this lady um my VR &E rep I feel like I said this already but I feel like I've been asking her hey can we have a meeting can we like hop on a phone call something because this whole back and forth in email is driving me absolutely insane because no I'm not, I have questions right now it's too much of a back and forth to be trying to do it over email why can't I just make an appointment to talk to you so 
that's irritating. Anywho, so now that I'm done with that, we on our way home now. I got about an hour and 33 minutes is what GPS is telling me. And I'm hoping I pass somewhere where I can grab some cheeky nuggies, maybe, I don't know, something. I need something, I am hungry. Made me miss my whole turn. Dang. I should have just went. I should have went right behind him. But yeah, y'all. I'm going to see y'all when I get home because I'm tired. I need. I really do need it up. But I need to wash these braids because my scalp is itching a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. It is Friday morning. It is the next morning and my breath is hot. <laughs> yeah, I just got up. I'm trying to grab a tripod. But I'm just getting up and it is 0950. I slept in this morning, y'all. And I was so glad to do it. I'm about to freshen up a little bit because like I said, I just got up. I just finished um fixing the bed i kid y'all now i was laying there for a little bit as well scrolling on my phone i was going to continue to lay there into the discomfort of having to pee overshadow the comfort of just laying there being and that already happened so i'm up um and now i gotta freshen up i have to go downstairs and make me something to eat maybe clean up a little bit so yeah my face all in here is dry like i am so dry i can feel the tightness in my lips i'm trying to see because i don't have to leave the house today I don't, I don't, ooh, I shouldn't because I grabbed something to cook for dinner tonight, yesterday, so I should be good there, but I want to put something else on. Let me change my clothes real quick. Okay, that's a little bit better. I just threw on this bodysuit with some sweatpants. Then if I get cold, obviously I have the matching sweatshirt. So we about to go ahead and do some skincare. So my skincare routine mainly consists of good molecules. When I first started using it, I started with the discoloration serum. I had to use it for quite some time, like three months or something like that before I actually start seeing a difference. And boy, have I seen a difference. I was already using a hyaluronic acid, but from a different company. So I decided to try the one from Good Molecule absolutely love it i ended up adding a niacinamide serum love it i tailored this to my skin like this was months in the making like just trying stuff out because y'all already know um well if you don't know years ago i used to have the worst like the worst adult acne anybody has ever seen and i had these big scars and stuff all over my face and so for the longest time i wasn't using anything anything at all on my face i was only using this i would wipe my face with this i wouldn't put on any lotion i wouldn't put on anything like in i was scared to put anything on my face once my face finally got clear so yeah but my skin routine my skincare routine looks different from day to day as well so from night to day obviously it looks different i use some different products but then day to day like for example this fade this fade um cream i use that on specific days and because i can't use it with certain things i have to schedule this right and i also use i'm also using this on my bikini area and under my arms and it's working like a charm i have when i have hs so i have a bunch of scarring under my arms and i have a bunch of scarring in my bikini area and this is working wonders i mean obviously it's still visible you can still see it it's definitely in an insecurity of mine but it's getting better i'm working on it um oh and for my hs i also use these things as well i use these on my legs too this is this is really good my skin after i'm do, done doing everything my skin really be looking really really good also, I started using a gentle retinol cream, so I also have to schedule this on certain days. And then the last thing that I really have to kind of time is going to be this overnight exfoliating treatment, again, from Gut Molecules. So all of this stuff, I try to time on certain days so I'm not overlapping too much or do it at a specific time in the day. But as far as like my everyday, just basic skincare routine we're going to go ahead and do that starting with this um 
this exfoliating face wash. This is what I use in the morning. I use the clear soap wipes at night. I use this at night just to kind of wipe everything off. And then obviously because it's it's medicated as a treatment, it sits on my face all night. So that really has been helping. But I like to use this in the morning because laying with my face all over the pillow all night, on my husband's sweaty chest all night, just doing stuff and my face is touching who knows what while I'm sleeping. Um, I just like to wipe everything off in the morning with this. Bought these only because Amia has the matching ones. So we can do our skincare routines together. She literally needs water and soap, but it was a thought that counted. <laughs> Ooh, that's cold. I'm mean, gonna let this water warm up for a second. Okay. And just wet my face a little bit. And I still get breakouts. I still have scarring and stuff like that. I still have hyperpigmentation. But from what it used to be, I'm 100% okay with this. And I forgot to break off my paper towel and let it sit there for when I have to dry my face off. So I'll set that right there. This. Then I just wipe my face and it feels so good because I like the little exfoliating balls and stuff that's in there. Okay, and while I'm doing this, I also wanted to talk to y'all about a few things. Not even talk to y'all about a few things, but just a few updates. But so y'all remember when I said I am supposed to be doing 75 hard, right? So I'm supposed to be doing 75 hard, but what I decided to do, I'm going to be doing 75 soft first. So remember the order I told y'all I wanted to go and I wanted to do the 75 hard first because it was more, um, kind of a more rigorous, a little bit harder when it comes to being dedicated to the challenge or whatever. And I checked my nursing school schedule. As of right now, it has me going to campus a little bit more than I originally planned because it's supposed to be a hybrid program where you're not really going into campus that much and stuff like that but literally every single week sometimes multiple times a week we're going into campus and that's a two hour and a half two hour drive for me I already told y'all that but yeah so I'm like okay this is going to be a little too hard my schedule I can't figure out how to make it work especially with having to be going on campus all that time so I was talking to Trey about it because I was getting a little frustrated and he was like why don't you just start with 75 soft like start easy and work your way up like you are getting into the groove of things you should start with the easiest one first because the way I am if I fail at it I'm going to be so hard on myself I'm going to literally feel like a failure if I can't do it and he said that he's like you're going to feel like crap if you're not able to do it so why don't you do something that's more um realistic that you are able to complete instead of starting off with the hardest thing when you have so many things on your plate already and i said that makes a lot of sense actually and if I, I can fit it a little it's so forgiving i can fit it into my schedule a little bit more so y'all we're not doing 75 hard anymore we're doing 75 soft and i'm going to be starting actually coming up this monday it's friday i'm starting monday being in nursing school starting nursing school i'm just trying to get I'm trying to get a good routine and stuff like that down beforehand and that's really frustrating to me because like i said everything is all over the place because i'm still moving around so much that i need a place for everything i need my routine i just need things to fall into place personally with myself which isn't a big deal it's not stressing me out too much or anything like that but yeah one thing i really like about this um this face, this face wash is what my face looks like after I'm done using it. I just love it so much. Like it looks so clean. It looks so clear. Like come on, come through the skin. So what I do first is I use the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And I just use a few, a few drops of those. I always start with the bottom of my, of my face for some reason. Because the thing that keeps me grounded or puts me on the right track in the morning is the fact that i actually have a solid morning routine with a solid skincare routine i know every morning i'm going to get up i'm going to fix the bed i'm going to brush my teeth and all that good stuff and i'm going to get dressed and i got the big bottles too because like i said i put this on night and day most of these i put on night and day so i got the big bottles next is the niacinamide serum wait for this to dry down and then I do the same thing with this.
I want my lashes done so bad. <laughs> I want them done so bad, but I don't want my lashes to fall out. I feel like when I was getting my lashes done, I feel like when I was getting my lashes done, over time, like my lashes just ended up getting so, so like thin. Like my, I have, okay, so I have decent lashes. You see that? Well, on that side anyway. <laughs> And they curl up. You can barely see them. But I have decent lashes. My thing is, and they're pretty long. My lashes are just really fine. So I have to put on so, so much freaking mascara just to show them off. Just to get that little pop in my eyes that I like. So, But I don't want to get them done because I don't want them to get damaged. Because I swear I, they always end up getting damaged no matter what. If I do them myself, they don't get damaged. But yeah but they don't last long enough on me to be taking the time it takes to do them myself. Next is the Discoloration Serum. Across my forehead, here, and there. Some people, this might be a lot, but to me, it, it really is not. I come a long way from using just the face wipe. <laughs> But when you try out things and you realize what works for your skin and understand how to use certain things, then it works. The next is going to be this moisturizer. This is my new favorite. I used to use one on Amazon that I would always purchase, but for it to be literally like this big, y'all see that? This big, and it went up to over like $60 or something like that was ridiculous. That's crazy to me. And this is $58, but look at all of this that you get in here. And it's a decent amount in there had this for a while now so i just stopped using that one and i decided to use this one like once they start going up in that price because like come on now what you doing can i get can i get can i get uncrustable you're uncrustable i'm about to come make some waffles okay did you still want an uncrustable well are you going to eat both mm -hmm. or just the uncrustable i'm going to eat both mm -hmm. go fix your bed okay bye love being a mom so much i love 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 being a mom anyway that is my skincare routine but there is one more thing i'm about to add we're gonna go ahead and put on some sunscreen and i use this black girl sunscreen and i absolutely love it i still love this so much i actually want to get the higher i need to get the the 45 i need to get one for the kids because as of right now, they're flying through mine. I found this like a month or so ago, right? Because I was looking, like I was desperately looking for a sunscreen. I was looking for a mineral-based sunscreen and I ran across this sunscreen and I'm super excited about it. But when I finally got it in the mail and I put it on for the first time, I could not believe that it didn't leave that ghosty white, like cast that a lot of the, the mineral sunscreens be using. So I was super, super super excited about that last thing i do is i just add some aquaphor on my lips and then i add some lip gloss on top of that <laughs> because i like the shine and that is it that is my skincare routine and i am i love my routine um it's it's perfect for me i know like it's like it's so complex, like I just love it. I love it and I finally figured it out and my skin has been loving it too. The last thing I do is my ring. So y'all know I love this thing. That is my, my wedding ring, the bands. Cleanest thing in the morning. I have this jewelry cleaner here. I like to drop it in there, shake it around just a little bit. Somebody was telling me that I should leave it in there overnight, but I don't trust it. it. Has this little brush in there. I just go in and clean around it. Try to push like the, the brush underneath it just to get, cause I be having like gunk and lotion and stuff in there. On the weekends, I try to clean all of Trey cause he got a bunch of chains and stuff like that. I cleaned his jewelry. Cleaned all his jewelry yesterday. Oh, this camera is not doing this justice, y'all. This is so pretty. But I cleaned his stuff yesterday. 
So you clean it <clears throat> and you rinse it off. You have this that comes with the rings and you just dry that off. Absolutely clean ring. Oh, I love it. Dry my hands, put on this retinol hand cream, then put my ring on and go about my business. And that is my morning routine. I love it so much. Like it's, and obviously I'm not sitting here with a camera in my face talking to y'all. I'm either listening to a serum, I'm watching some videos, I'm listening to music. I'm like doing stuff that I want to be like, it's, it's some me time, if that makes any sense. So listening to a story time. Oh, I love listening to story times. I'm about to now go downstairs and make me these little waffle things that I found that I absolutely love. I think we still have bacon. If not, I'll just make me some sausages, but I'm gonna see y'all later. You say nothing's wrong at all, baby. I say that we're falling off like Maybe we just ain't been on the same page In my mind I'm down by the In your heart you keep trying But the truth is I hide That's just the way we are but Can't say you love me when it's like that Can't say I love you when it's like that If it was new it won't be like that to everybody else, it won't just show me back But I love when we make up like that And you love it when I make you mad But maybe we just love like that Yeah, maybe we just love like that Sometimes I don't want you around You do something to make me smile And it's hard for me to try to doubt this feeling Yeah, we could just walk away yeah, we could just stay away The things I love about you I can't change No, 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 no lights on in here y'all hold on because <laughs> i'm trying to be quiet We're upstairs it's saturday night and now he all of a sudden don't want to be making all that noise and then Now, now all of a sudden they don't want to be making a noise. When I say Darion was just on one, Trey was just on one, everybody was just on, and the mamas, they had the same. Y'all, this is my baby. Y'all don't understand. I love this kitty so much. I love you so much. Anyway, it is Saturday night, and it's pretty late. It's like... It's about to be 11 o'clock. Let me turn this light on. And I just finished doing some skincare. And y'all, I am absolutely in love, uh, in love with my current skincare routines. Routines with the S. Things that I do with my face, I finally found out how to balance out the products and stuff that I use, when to use them, how to use them. And every single time I wake up in the morning and I see my skin and how well it's doing, I just get so happy. I just get so happy. Because you see right now, and obviously I still have scars. Like I had a breakout, so obviously that left a scar. I had a cut that left a scar scar well not the dark one that's a beauty mark but next to it is a scar um yeah i had my lip pierced years and years and years and years and years ago and i think just it just it's not gonna close um obviously i can't see this out of my face unless i but i have this scar from when i got burned but other than that like my skin 
we'll have a scar right here so i have scars but as far as like breakouts any real um discoloration hyperpigmentation i am doing so well and i'm just so happy about that anyway yeah they were all just up there yelling and playing a game and just having a good old time and i'm just like what in the world is going on out here as long as they're not up in here bothering and messing with me i do not care me and amia amia was in there with me while i was doing my skincare y'all speaking of amia i should just have a little update and just tell y'all how everything's been going now that we got the kids back now that i'm retired a few little things that i'm super 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 excited about but everything is going so good i feel like but mia was in there with me doing my skincare routine obviously i had on my little my little headband to make sure the water or anything just stay put make sure my hair stay back and she has a pink one so when she saw me in the room doing my skincare she ended up running out grabbed hers and ran back in because she wanted to do her skincare we did some um little sheet masks so that was really really fun yeah y'all my life has just been <sighs> I'm just excited i'm just i'm just excited you know those slow lies those those luxury soft lives where there's slow mornings you can make your tea and you can make your matcha and you can wake up super early in the morning and have a go to the gym that is my life like that's the life i'm living right now it's i love it i love it so much obviously my world about to get shook a little bit because i do start nursing school but yeah other than that i am I'm just loving it. I'm just excited right now. I'm at peace at the moment. I'm actually downstairs because I let me set this down. I want to make a um let's switch over here. I want to make a chai tea real quick. Before what is that? Yeah. I had six of these cups and I'm down to two and I got to order some more. I don't know if I want to order the same ones or read some reviews on some different ones because, because these things are so weak. I ended up tipping one over, like literally it was sitting up and it just fell over and it got like a little crack in the side. All the straws are broken. So I've been using the straws that are actually too big. Do I even want to use this cup? Let me use a different one. This is the cup that Trey bought me in a little kit thing for my birthday. And was this for my birthday? Yeah, it was for my birthday. He got it off Etsy. And when I say this thing holds ice so well, it holds ice better than my Stanley, which is so weird. But um, yeah, I do want to order some more of these because it feeds the aesthetic. It's just cute. It's just something, something small to romanticize the things that I be doing. Because at the end of the day, I truly believe in romanticizing your life, romanticizing your routines. If you work, romanticizing work, romanticizing school. I, I believe in main character syndrome. Not in the toxic way people be presenting it, but if you're living your life through your own lens, aren't you the main character? What's wrong with tapping into that a little bit? I don't know, maybe that's just me. We got some ice. I'm using this caramel syrup, which is not bad at all. I just really do wish I still had some vanilla syrup. I wish they had like a matcha version of this. They probably do. I'm about to go and look actually when I go upstairs. Scroll, I put too much. I put way too much. Scroll on Amazon and see if they have some matcha syrup. I already know this is my absolute favorite chai. I love chai tea. Oh my god, I have to go to the store tomorrow. It's looking like there's a few things I have to pick up. I need some more half and half. I need to get some juice for the kids to drink when they're eating dinner and stuff like that. Um, what else am I needing to get? I need to get some more heavy whipping cream. I needed to get, I know I need to get some paper towels. I might make a list tonight too. Like I love nights like this where I'm just freed up. I don't really have to do anything because I don't plan on studying. I don't plan on really doing too much tonight. I have all the free will to do as I please. And I love, I'm just loving it. I'm loving this. I'm loving this life. I got all my stuff and things. And the mamas. What? Yeah, I see you. Look at her. I'm about to try to attack me in my own home. 
Yeah, we can see you. I thought you were slick. Hmm. I thought you were so slick. This light back over here. Turn it all the way down. That all the way down. Close this door. I'll change this light to white. And then we're going to turn it light off. And this is the mood I like to have when I have the room to myself. Just all the lights dim, just chilling out a little bit in bed, watching whatever videos I want, doing whatever I want, with a little snack. So yeah, I'm excited. That's about it, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and close this down. I do have, ooh, y'all, that scared me. I thought my titty was hanging out. <laughs> I do have a few vlogs that I really want to get started with editing and stuff like that just so I can kind of get some of this footage out of the way because it's going to be um, two before this one that's going to be going up and I just want to get that out of the way because I really want to start making little content and stuff for this little 75 soft journey that I am on. So yeah. I'm about to shut it down. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're on a road to 10K. I keep saying by the end of the year, but because y'all don't know how to listen, I don't think I'm going to hit that goal. So, you know, it is what it is, but it's cool. It is what it is. We still on a road though. We still on a road to 10K. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. Comment something. Just throw me in the algorithm. Do your girl a favor. It's free to support me. And... I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Bye.